I think that so much has changed in Macau. How could we be surprised that the political attitudes move as well? The pressures from the community about all this development are varied and dissimilar. People like the opportunity of making more money, they don't like overcrowding. I've never been totally unclear on the role of Beijing in the minutiae of this community, considering that most people in the central government will tell you that Macau is autonomous. My company is the largest supporter of the University of Macau since they broke ground on it. $10 million a year. What matters in a community where there's a business is how good of a member of the community is it? How good does the company take care of its employees? How responsibly and sensitive to community needs are they? I don't see the market contracting substantially from here forward. It's still so big that it's still the leading market in the world. Listen, the greatest thing that ever happened in my life was being allowed to do business in Macau and in China. I love it here. It's been the greatest single event in my commercial career, period. And, and that's not a self-serving remark. That's the flat out truth. Look at the numbers, look at the history. And I remember that when I got the concession, Edmund Ho once said to me, one of the things that I want to be a result of this is that young people think there's a career in hospitality here. I got it right from the chief executive. Any other response would be ridiculous, irresponsible, and a lie. It's that simple. And so the first thing I see is don't overreact to stuff and don't get upset and just cool it. Cool your jets, focus on things that you control, your business, your relationships with your employees, their welfare, the experiences of your guests, and the quality of the product that you serve. Do that, keep your chin down, pay attention to business, and the sun will come up tomorrow, the way I figure it. Now that's either a Pollyannish look at life or a practical one, depending on who you are. To me, it's the only option left for an intelligent way of, of waking up tomorrow morning.